Hi guys, good morning, how are you? Cheers, yes, good morning, and can you see that? I'm actually on my, I had a half a cup and then I filled it up. I'm having a little bit more black coffee this morning. Here's something very odd that I'm putting in my coffee lately. <sighs> Pure high fructose corn syrup. I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know what made me do this. Maybe I saw somebody doing something similar on Twitter, but I put um, coconut oil, not coconut milk. I did try coconut milk in here um, when I first came back from the CrossFit Games. By the way, do you like the new Reebok top? I'll get to that in a minute because I have some very exciting stuff, very exciting news to share with you. Um, but number one being, what time is it? It's 7.30 in the morning. I, I should shut up, I guess. I should maybe turn my music down a little bit. No, I don't think it's that early. Everybody seems to be awake. Um, I've been up since four in the morning. What's up with that? I got up at four and I'm like, oh, you know, it must be just I'm having a dream or something. So I got up, I was kind of hungry and I don't <laughs> need to go grocery shopping. So I had about four things to eat and I'm like, oh, okay. I'm either gonna go out and try and find a drive through at four o'clock in the morning or just not eat something. So I went back to bed and I was sitting there tossing and turning and it's kind of like at night. If I have so much going on in the head, it's not gonna happen. So I couldn't go back to sleep and finally I'm like, screw it. I'm so behind in work anyway. Why don't I just get up and if I really need to take a nap later, I will. So here I am and that's probably why I'm having a little bit more black coffee. But I'm gonna tell you guys, so many of you are asking like, how are you doing the black coffee thing? Um, I guess the thing is I'm not drinking in general, before before I've moved into doing paleo, right? I was not drinking coffee anyway. Remember, I'd cut it out. And again, so many, a lot of you are writing to me, uh, even very recently, asking how how I did all this stuff. I think the reason that everything is really sticking and working with me right now, more so than in the past, is number one, I've changed my attitude about it. Um, Everything is about the long term. I'm not like, what can I do for the next three weeks to lose 15 pounds as fast as possible? I'm just like, what can I do that's going to work in my life, that's going to make me feel better, it's going to fuel my workouts and contribute to likely my you know, weight loss. But I found that in the past I was focusing so much on like, what unique trick can I use and it was all about how I can lose weight the fastest. And as you know, it was two years of never sticking to anything, not consistent in my workouts, panicking, high stress, um, just yo-yo dieting, high stress, adrenal fatigue. And, and now, you know, there's consistency. I'm, I'm eating enough, certainly not doing that like eating nothing, eating too much one day, not, you know, consistency, whatever. So. And then also, when I made these changes, as you know, I just kind of added better things to my diet. I realized I'm not eating enough fruits and vegetables, so I started adding fruits and vegetables. I started saying, you know, when I came back from Boston, that one trip, started making more salads with roasted vegetables. And I love it. It's just a matter of exposing yourself. I think so many of us, Danielle and I were talking about this the other day, you get into these habits of eating like the same five things, especially if you're trying to lose weight. And then you're gonna get bored and then you're gonna fantasize about the food that you wanna eat that's bad. Why not try to find something, there's so, there's so much to eat. I mean, number one, we shouldn't be obsessed like the only thing in our life that matters is what we're gonna eat. Um, food should be enjoyed, but you know, it's that whole eat to live, live to eat thing. Um, as I've transitioned into paleo, everyone's like, what in the world do you eat? You know, like there's nothing as if I have four things to eat. Do you know how many different fruits there are on this planet? Do you know how many different vegetables there are on this planet? It's pretty amazing. And then, you know, with protein, I've always been a protein person. Um, I love seafood, I love beef. Chicken's okay. I hate pork. I'm not into bacon. Um, so that's never a temptation for me. And I do like, um, I'm trying to think of what alternative meat sources I've had. I've had, um, God, what's it called when you have deer? But it's like the really, we'll have to, I can't think of it. When it's really rare, right? Venison. I've had venison. Is that right? Um, I like lamb. 
maybe we'll do a little bit more of that. I've had um, bison burgers, I think. Um, in fact, I have a call tomorrow with a really nice all-organic grass-fed meat company. So excited. Um, but anyway, all that to say, the coffee thing, how do I get used to it? Again, I'm just being honest with you guys. When I have this cup of coffee, am I not kind of in the back of my head going, hmm, I really would love to have an actual cappuccino with a ton of Splenda in it. Or realistically, I'd love to be able to have a real cappuccino with real sugar and real cream in it and not have a raging stomach ache and have it be, you know, 700 calories. It is what it is. You know, for me, first and foremost, it's about, you know, I can't have that kind of dairy. Kind of now not doing the soy because of paleo. So that kind of limits your options in getting a latte, which sucks. I, I will tell you this. I've done this in the past. When I was at a restaurant and I would get, I've told you guys this before, so I have to decide on this, what I do in the future. Um, I have ordered like a, a cappuccino at a restaurant with real milk and I kind of just feel it out, but yeah, I'm trying to think now that I think about it. I do think the last time I ordered a real cappuccino, I did. I remember going home that night going, crap, stomach ache. It's just not worth it, really. I mean, what food is worth having a stomach ache for the rest of the night? especially if you have company over. Um, then you're walking around going, excuse me for a minute, excuse me, because you don't want to be around anybody going, oh my God, my stomach hurts. I've been that person, it's annoying. Okay, so all that to say, um, my friends that, that transitioned to the whole black coffee thing, they said, you know, you'll learn to like it, you'll learn to appreciate it this way. Valerie Waters, when we were talking, she said, I know it sounds funny to you, but you'll get to the point where you actually prefer your coffee that way as opposed to putting stuff in it. That's not where I'm at right now. So I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, is it difficult? You know, I'm getting used to having this. I kind of like it in the morning, um, but I can also not have it in the morning. And I don't have coffee the rest of the day. I'm not having it at night. But it's kind of nice to, to make this, and I don't know why. I just don't like making tea. Isn't that stupid? I don't like boiling it and getting the tea bags out and throwing the tea bags away, yada, yada, yada. So, what was the other good stuff I wanted to tell you, kind of getting back to this top? So this is the top, one of Reebok's new, new workout tops um, that I was sent in the mail yesterday. And um, can you see the back? Now, I have a Victoria's Secret bra on underneath it, but these are the, the straps, so I like the thicker straps. It's very long, it goes all the way down, it's covering probably half of my butt. But here's the thing, I have been ordering since we've been doing some work, since my company Fit Flesh has been doing some work with Reebok, and I've always gotten a size medium. Because of the weight that I've lost just recently, I am now thinking I'm gonna need a small. I mean, I, I am gonna need a small, it's way too baggy in my torso. And you guys know that my torso is where I've had the, you know, that's where I got just more thick in my torso, which is very bizarre because I've always had an hourglass shape. I've always had a very small waist, you know, I've certainly had the hips and the booty, but I've always had, you know, a really small waist. So, number one, that was really exciting to put this top on and go, oh, rats, it's so loose and baggy in my middle. I'm going to need a small. That's pretty awesome. Furthermore, yesterday and the past, I don't know, week or so, Probably every few days since I've been home from the CrossFit Games, and, and that's when I really started to transition to paleo. Um, no stomach aches, feeling better. Um, a lot of you have asked me, am I craving sweets? Am I craving, you know, bad foods? I'll always be honest with you guys. Like, if you talk about Giordano's Pizza, or if you talk about going to Olive Garden, you know, am I going to say, oh, I have no desire to have any breadsticks dipped in Alfredo. Screw that. I, I mean, that's never anything that's not going to appeal to me. I see that happening on a cheat day. Um, but on a regular basis, I will be honest with you. I'm to the point where I'm enjoying what I'm eating. I don't in any way feel denied. I'm not having cravings, except, you know, when Aunt Flo decides to stop by, which could be in the next week. Can't wait for that to show up. Um, but I don't, some of you have asked about sweets, like what am I eating for sweets? First of all, when you do paleo, you can have fruits, vegetables, nuts, um, and obviously protein. So for sweets, I tend to either do 
my egg protein shake. I tend to do that in the morning after my first meal. Um, that's sweet. Now, let me be honest with you. Um, the GNC egg protein shake that I use does have artificial sweetener in it. So even though I've cut out, you know, I'm not putting any sweetener in my coffee, um, I don't buy Splenda anymore, I don't put it in anything. If I get uh, unsweetened iced tea, I don't put anything in it. Um, you know, that does have artificial sweetener in it. Am I to the point where I feel like, oh, I need to find my protein powder without any artificial sweetener or with stevia? No. Um, right now, it's not prohibiting my weight loss, it's not making me feel bad, so that's where I'm at on that. I am also kind of occasionally cool with having an occasional Diet Coke. Never more than one in one day if I have it. Um, but I'm really drinking mostly water, um, water, tea, or coffee, or unsweetened iced tea with nothing in it. So um, I would either do for sweets, fruit, fruit is amazing, trail mix that has some kind of fruit in it. You know, I'm not doing anything that has a trail mix with chocolate in it or a trail mix with yogurt covered anything in it, obviously, but trail mix with like cranberries or dried blueberries satisfies my sweet tooth um, or a protein shake. Um, and honestly, sometimes then I'll just go in my refrigerator and have some coconut milk. It's sweet enough. So um, I'm just not walking around, you know, craving chips or, or anything like that. And I don't know, I think once you just get in the habit of doing really well, you know, sometimes like I'll look in the in the fridge and I'll see my salsa and I'll be like, oh, chips and salsa sounds really good. It's like, well, yeah, I can have that sometime, but why do I need it right now? Like, why not wait and go out, you know, for Mexican food and then have chips and a, and a margarita? You know, it, it, you just get more empowered to say, I can wait. I can wait on that until, you know, I want to treat myself. It's kind of like me with drinking alcohol. I don't drink and have a glass of wine every night. I would rather wait until I'm on my date or out with friends or with my family and then you know I can enjoy a drink or two or seven just kidding or ten um, and it works I'm already at 12 minutes damn I gotta shut up so all that to say here's my <laughs> grocery list I'm going to get in the habit of actually going to the grocery store I live like two minutes from everything now and I'm still going <sighs> Isn't it bad? This is going to sound so arrogant. I just really need a personal assistant because then I could just focus on what I want to do and have this minutiae stuff done. It's not that I feel I'm too good for it. I just don't have time for it. There you go. One last thing. I mentioned about the top. Um, I actually just took my measurements again because since being home, I started this train of thought like five minutes ago, as usual. Um, since I've been home and doing paleo, not only do I feel good, I keep catching myself, I look in the mirror and I'm like, especially from the side, okay? I've always been noticing weight loss from the side as I'm getting smaller and smaller this way, my butt's getting higher and higher, that's, and, and tighter and smaller, and that's thanks to Valerie Waters, hello. So I've always noticed it from the side. But then last night, for example, I went to go running and I put on, you know, all this time that we've been doing stuff with Reebok, I've gotten pants and even though, okay, I, for as long, even when I was my, probably next to my goal weight, I don't think I've ever worn workout pants in a size small. Like, I, I've never been a small. I've either been a medium or a large. So all of the um, workout pants that I have, you know, I've always been paranoid. I don't want to get anything that's tight, that's going to be um, giving me muffin top, whatever. And so I've, I had all these pants in a, in a large, these Reebok pants. And yet, when I would try them on, they fit perfectly everywhere. I felt great, but there was that little bit of elastic around the waist that made me feel like, okay, if I bend a certain, and I'm so paranoid about it. I know you guys that I'm being overly paranoid. I just noticed this stuff in myself. I'm paranoid. Get over it. I'm telling you how I'm noticing this stuff. So I haven't been putting these on for my workout. And last night, I wanted to wear some capris because it's really hot out. So I'm like, Let's just put these on, let's just see. Put them on, and first I walked by the mirror because I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go running. I'm not gonna worry about whether I have a little bit of muffin top or whatever. I haven't even been worrying when I've been going out running. I put on my, I use the Under Armour sports bras, and I put them on underneath my thing. And you guys know, if you used to watch my vlog six months ago, or however many, three months ago, I'd be like, these are great, but it just bugs me how, the, how I have the back fat. And I was always putting those on, and first thing, looking in the mirror going, oh, I was feeling great, except I'd see how it fit in the back. 
and I've just been kind of focusing on the big picture as opposed to putting my workout clothes on and sitting in the mirror and picking myself apart, right? So I've been putting on my Under Armour bras to go running and noticing like there's hardly any indentations in the back, just kind of noticing that. Then I put on my Reebok pants last night with my Reebok top and all that and I get ready to go and I caught myself from the side walking by my mirror and I'm like, damn! I actually took a picture and sent it to Valerie because I'm like, do you see what you're doing with me? How much I'm leaning out? And you guys know, it's not been this, me noticing this about myself lately. I've been more like, oh, nothing's happening. I blah, blah, blah. So then I did this like, okay, I'm gonna look at myself from the front because I'm sure, and I was trying not to have these thoughts, but in my head I'm like, I'm sure I'm not gonna like how I look from the front. And I turned around from the front and I was literally like, holy sh I'm sorry, I swore. I was like, holy crap, in a different version. I cannot believe these look good. And although if I if I go like that, I can make you know a little bit of, of, of fat that's still left to lose roll over, I was like, I actually am looking at myself full frontal and going, you are looking freaking good, girl. Do you know how amazing that feels? Not only because I'm not obsessing about it, but I just, I don't know, it, it just feels, and so then this morning, I just went in and measured myself. I've lost another half inch on my waist. I've lost an inch on my hips or my, my, my upper tummy and kind of an inch everywhere else. Maybe a half an inch on my upper thighs or an inch. I have to remeasure again, but all that to say, the changes I'm making in my mind and being patient and sticking with it and, and being in it for the long haul and just focusing on, you know, how much better is my run tonight? How much better is my workout? How can I not, you know, make an excuse to skip this workout when I'm really tired and it's eight o'clock? Focusing on that instead of focusing on, you know, what I look like every single day and expecting to see five pounds gone overnight, it's working. So um, hopefully that 17 minute vlog has been enough for you for this morning. I'll be back in a day or so. My tag is bothering me.